Hi there, I'm just making this short uh, video screencast to show how you go about setting up your classroom uh, or your seating plan uh, for your class using classcharts.com. The first thing you'll want to do is to create your own room. Uh, they give you a demo room to show you what that might look like over here, uh, but we're just going to create one from scratch ourselves. And it's very simple to do. You just click on to rooms and then go to add room. Now creating a room is dead simple give it a room name, we'll just call it room 101 and then choose what sort of desks you want, singles or doubles and how many rows and columns you want. Now don't worry if your um, classroom isn't quite like this you can configure it and I'll show you that in a second so we'll just go to create room and you can just drag and drop your layout for your room. So you've already got the layout we we just chose, three by three, but you can put in extra single desks if you want to, or you can put in uh, bigger seating areas if you want to. And if there's things in here that you don't want, then you can take them away and move things around and so forth and so on. Note this is the front of the classroom just over here. Okay, and that's it really. You you set up your room now, um, and 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 it's ready to roll. You then need to create your class. So you go to create a class over here, and the first thing you want to do is um, just to bring some names across for your classroom. And there's some uh, sample data in there, which is great. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, we will just uh, take these uh, students and add them across like so. Okay, once they're there, you can just go create class and here are your students on the side over here. Okay, just dismiss that for a second. And then what you can do, you've got a variety of options. Okay, you can um, optimize your seating if you want to by clicking on here and choosing how you want the uh, pupils to be laid out in the room um, based on their reading age or literacy type group, target group or any of these things here. Now you might be wondering how you get this data in. I'll show you that in just a moment, um, but I'm using the sample data uh, for the moment. So do that, you know, slide it along and make your choices however you want them, click shuffle and then it will put the students into their seating arrangements. Now if you don't like it, if you know that Tom really needs to be near the front of the class because he needs to, be able to see the board really easily, then move him right to the front. Uh, if Claire's a really good student, you want to support David at the back here, then move her there. Do what you want. Okay. Now, whilst we're in this view, uh, it's important to note that you can um, give students positive and negative behaviour points in here. So you can uh, award students. Uh, you can do the attendance on here if you want to as well. And if you want to choose a student from your class for doing something, uh, then you can just check, click on random pupil and it will then just go through and choose the students and there it is, it's Sarah Jones and there she's being chosen and if it's for an activity you can give her a positive or a negative uh, or a in, in between, whatever you want to do. So that's that really. Now, what if you want to put in your own class? Um, well, we've used random data here, haven't we? So the way that I add in my own class is by going to pupils uh, just over here where we can then put in our own classes. And you can do this manually if you want to. Let's just remove that for a second. Okay. Um, but you can do it um, say manually by adding in the various headings and stuff. But that can take, in, take a, you know, a fair amount of time to do that. I just go to um, the Add Pupils option here instead and go to Upload Excel Spreadsheets. Now, what's great about this is we can then um, download a sample spreadsheet like so, save it. Okay, and I'll save it to my desktop boom like so and then you can load that up and put the data in yourself into the spreadsheets so here's the spreadsheet that I've downloaded I've actually jumped ahead a little bit and changed some of the names here myself and, and uh, obviously you can change the data here uh, for the choose group or the SEN status or the free school, free school meal status or looked after and pupil premium so forth and so on you can put in all of this data and this data can be available to you within class charts all you've got to do is simply you know, fill in the data you want. I bring mine in from Sims. I'll export a, um, a data set from a class from Sims and just copy and paste the information I want over into this spreadsheet here. Uh, and then once that's done, I simply save it again and close it. So I come back into here and I go to Choose File and I choose that um, spreadsheet that I've just 
worked on and then choose upload and that brings all that data straight in to class charts I'll remove any extras that I don't need by clicking on the little bin icon here and then I'll just submit that and that will then make and that will then import the pupils into class charts I can then create a class using the imported pupils and I'm going to call that class my class choose what room they're assigned to room 101 and then I click create class down the bottom here I then as you saw before can then assign the class based upon their various uh, settings that I want on here choose shuffle there they are all put in now I know that Lucy um, needs to sit at the front uh, I know that um, Sarah likes to sit at the front too uh, Stuart and Jane need to work together so forth and so on um, I wouldn't have them all like that really would I? I'd have them uh, a bit further forward but that's it really you can run it as you want to and do the various things that you spoke about before you can see them on the list as well you can print them out and you can add in some custom fields too if you want to and when your class is ended you just go to end class and you then go back and you can look through your behavior reports uh, so forth and so on there's loads more you can do but that should be enough to get you set up thanks for listening my name's mark anderson and that's about it cheers